got Max Scherzer, the big guns here today. Max, great to see you. And you had a big change over the winter. This is not a change that Nationals fans should fear. You welcomed little Brooklyn into your lives. You are now a father. How is fatherhood treating you? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, you know, I got a little girl at home, so uh, life is definitely different. It's a lot more chaotic. So uh, my wife and I were doing good, just a little less sleep. <laughs> Probably true to say a little less sleep. That's accurate. Um, Max, you, it's kind of weird to think about it, but this time last year you were throwing pitches with three fingers. Mm -hmm. And you had that stress fracture injury in your hand coming into spring, and Despite that injury, you were still able to, to go at the beginning of the season, and you had a, a Cy Young campaign. I, I know you like looking ahead as compared to looking back, but, but is that a, at all strange to you that you were dealing with that injury so late in the spring and then you were able to bounce back and, and post the year that you did? Well, it was just one of those things you had to continue to keep finding new ways for me to be able to get out there and uh, you know go, get to my normal reps. Well, no matter how I was holding the ball, and it just showed that you can accomplish anything, you know, while you're you might be nicked up a little bit. Uh, but this spring train, man, I feel great. I don't have to do any of that. Uh, you know, I can hold the ball with two fingers, and uh, you know, working on everything. So feel really good about where I'm at. And uh, yeah, three more, two more starts uh, before I'm out there for the regular season. Now you feel good about your, where you're at personally, but talking to everyone around this Nationals team this spring, it seems like everyone feels great about where this team is at under a new coaching staff with Davey Martinez, and it seems like his style of handling spring training kind of fits in with how you approach things. You like working hard, you like getting after it, you like having some fun <laughs> along the way as well. Is, is that a fair assessment that, that Davey and his spring kind of matches up with how you like to attack things? Uh, yeah, that's one way to put it. Um, no, he, yeah. Like you said, uh, we, we've been out there, uh, you know, addressing where we need, you know, the things we need to work on, and um, you know, as a team, team fundamentals, you know, you, you name it, everything we've done on the backfields. Uh, but we've also had fun. I, I, it reminds me of uh, in 2014, I've been first year manager, and Brad Ausmus, he came to, you know, after uh, Leland. He, we had a lot of fun. That was a nice veteran clubhouse, and so uh, when you have veterans, veterans in clubhouse, they know how to get their work done. Uh, it seems to bode really well when. You've also bring some shenanigans to the spring training. Shenanigans indeed, as the Cardinals played another one here in the fourth. And I was told, a little birdie told me, that you were a huge fan of the camels that Davey Martinez brought, that you absolutely loved that move. Yeah, when he, t he's, he said he kind of tipped his hand a couple days earlier that he was thinking about doing that, and I was like, oh, please, please, <laughs> please, this would be awesome. So sure, sure, sure enough, and... Uh, there's, you know, three camels out there, and we're walking in and giving them high fives, and one of them's named Blondie, so I, I, you can't teach that. Nobody could have predicted that you would be dealing with a camel named Blondie during one of your workouts in spring. Now, I, I got some information as well. Mm -hmm. a, little, a little birdie told me this, that there is a little bit of a question as to the status of your jet skis. What can you give us on this? Well, see, your little birdie, I know his name. Yeah. So for everybody out there, your little birdie is named Sean Kelly. And when you invite one of your friends over to, um, you know, have some fun on the water or whatnot, and he, he you know, wants to use your jet skis, you, you assume that your, your little birdie friend is going to, you know, be nice and put the jet skis up and make sure that they don't, you know, leave or anything. And uh, the next morning, I, you know, saw my jet skis were out on the other side of the uh, intercoastal here because he didn't, you know, raise the boat lift high enough and high tide. You know, high tide, and that's a thing around here yes. in Florida. You learn that in spring training that high tide comes up, and then they take your jet skis out, and they're on the other side of you know intercoastal on rocks and everything. So, yeah, that, that, that little birdie had a little mistake in spring training too. He is not taking any ownership for that mistake, by the way. Uh, just for the record. Now, back to baseball, real quick, Max. You talk all the time about how you go into a year trying to make adjustments and to improve yourself. You're coming mm -hmm. off a year where you want to Cy Young. You've got a couple of those in the bank now, three of them. How, where does that mentality come from, that you proactively want to get better each year as compared to just trying to ride out what's been so effective for you for so long? Um, I think it really goes back to 2011 for me. Um, 2011... Actually, 2010. Uh, 2010, I really thought I made some changes in my game, where I really thought I solidified myself as a, you know, quality major league pitcher. But I think in 2011, I came with the attitude into that year of trying to get better. I just thought of just showing up and I'd be a good pitcher. And 2011 was my worst year. And after that year, 
I remember, you know, heading into 2012 that I was really going to make some changes and really try to improve myself. And throughout the course of spring training and early in that year, I really felt like I did. I really felt like I solidified my slider and was even able to add a curveball. And when I then took that mentality into 2013, everything came into place and it really pitched um, as well as I possibly could. And I've held on to that mentality ever since. Uh, nothing changes no matter you know how good or bad you do. You always have to keep finding ways to get better. And uh, here we are in 2018 now. I'm looking to get better. And uh, there's things I'm doing. I think I can do that. Now, I know, I know you well enough to know that if I ask you a generic question here about how you're going to try and improve for 2018, I'm gonna get a, you know, uh, you're not, you're not telling me anything. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you a really generic answer. So of like, course. you, you got to be a good interview right now. So we can, let's see, let's test your skills. It's spring for you. Okay. So what are you gonna ask? You've been working on a two seamer with Brandon Kinsler. How has that pitch come along for you, and do you see that as a weapon that you could implement this season? Uh, How'd I do? I will say, uh, you're you're on the right track, <laughs> but I have worked on a two seamer. Uh, you know, working with Ken, he, he obviously has a great sinker. Um, but I've also realized within my mechanics that I can't sink the ball. <laughs> I don't know why, for, you know, like we've, we've identified, I've worked with Ken. Ken has great mechanics to throw a sinker, and I have a great mechanics to throw a four-seamer. So uh, I will not be featuring a two-seamer this year. Fair enough. I'll ask you a physical question. You, you still have a lot left in the tank, but all of us, we're getting older as each year <laughs> goes on. You're, you're really getting older. I know, yeah. A couple <laughs> grays up top. How have you physically... Um, adapted your workout plan either in the off season or during the season and how do you feel like those adaptations have benefited you as we go forward um, I will start by saying this that I haven't changed um, I'm still trying to run and lift as hard as I ever have uh, trying to still push you know every mile and every you know squat trying to do as much as I can uh, but in that same breath I understand there's times where look I am a little older now and there's certain times like, hey, you, oh, man, you know, your hip kind of feels a little tired than usual, or you know, there's something, you know, you kind of have little nicks that seem to jump up, and uh, you just kind of listen to your body, just listen to what you can do. Uh, and if there's a day you need a blow, you, there's a day you take off. You, know, you, you don't do as much, but if you're full go, uh, I'm out there gonna, you know, work as hard as I ever have. Anything else you want to drop before we uh, we call this interview off? This is your interview, so yeah, I know your skills for 2018. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, I, I've got all my all my questions out here, so I think I'm good. If all you're right. good, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Thanks for the time, Max. We all appreciate right. it. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, he's pretty good.